Hey guys, what is up? My name is Easy Taps, and today we are back, and we're going to be unboxing, or uh, however you want to say it, opening my new controller unboxing video. But I already unboxed it yesterday because I just want to see how I can break it down and you know everything else. So this is what it looks like. This is what the box looks like. You know, this is the new Xbox controller. So I found out why they have the dots right here. So you got yellow, you know, red, and you got, you know, blue, and then you got, you know, fucking green. I was about to say A, the color A. <laughs> um, so I had to go restart the video, like, twice already, because I, I was trying to unbox it over there, but the blue lighting and everything else. This is what it is on the back. Alright. So I have the warranty on it, just in case it breaks. And if you guys can tell... Has the button in the middle. If I hold it down, it records. If I click it, it takes a screenshot. And here's the new D pen. The Redigar D pen. Let me go grab it right quick. Ah. All right. So we're back. So this is what the new. This is what the old thing that I used to do. So here's the Redigar D pen. I'll show you the other one. Unbox it too. Here's the D pen, and had this for a very long time. So let me go and put this back over here. Let's open it. So it's already on, by the way, because my Xbox is on. I don't know why it does that. So this is my charging. Um, what do you want to call it? Uh, charging pack, charge charger pack, or what do you want to call it? Um, do hickey. So it's very new, I don't need batteries anymore, I don't be like, searching the control and grabbing shit out of it. So I brought my hair, I didn't really need a haircut on the sides, and that looks like shit, so. Okay, so I still have a little skin right there from yesterday. So it's smooth. Now it turns to find out that, um, it no longer takes Android, we call it Android chargers, to charge these now. I mean, for the charging charger pack, or what do you want to call it? Um, it does, but like, this up here, no longer needs that. So, Xbox has their own, I mean, I don't know what would you call it, um, Sansom charger? I mean, some Sansoms have Android chargers, but mine has a different type of charger. So, it takes that, so, so here is the look of the D-pad. It's click and you know it's it's smaller and you know you can hit it very you know easily and stuff. So the controller has grips right here and the bottom too. Same for the same side. And what's fascinating is the triggers, but not the um, L bumper and right bumper. They don't have yeah. They don't have grips on it I'm sorry um so if you take a look you can kind of see it you probably can't <sighs> all right so is it worth getting I say yes because this actually gives you this gives you an advantage right here because you know with my Xbox series elite 2 controller that I got last year you know, you can, you know, sort where, which triggers, you know, you want to you wanna be at the really good one, the middle one, where you don't have to go all the way down, or you can just have the one where just, you know, just click, 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 instead of going. So, this is kind of like the middle one, um, because these are much shorter, and you can click RT faster, LT, LT, RT, whatever you want to do. The bumper and right bumper are actually pretty stiff right now because I haven't really used it, but it's um it's it's all right. So the grip is really good. I don't have to lose you know keep dropping my controller every single time. Clean that off right quick. That's when I had a color design mint controller was back whenever I think it was two thousand sixteen or eighteen. Because it's been a very long time. My last color controller was black or red. It's rather black or red. 
So this is the newest one. Is it worth it? I say yes because it gives you an advantage with the uh, shoulder triggers. And you guys are like, it's not shoulder. Well, it actually really is shoulder. Because take a look at this. If you look, there's a difference. See? It's really, it's, this one's much shorter, like, bigger. You listen. See, look. See? Alright. Then we have this, this one. Big difference, right? And the D-pad is way more different. Um, sometimes it can get annoying. Sometimes it can't be, you know. I'm kind of used to it already. Pretty good so far. So, it's really comfortable. Like... If you don't have the battery pack and you only just have batteries in it, it's actually kind of like not that heavy enough. Does it break easily? I don't know. I haven't dropped it yet. And I'm not going to slam it on the ground. Not yet. I can't slam that one on the ground yet because of, um, if I want to make easy cash like $30, I can just take that back to the game. So give me, they'll probably give me about 25 but like, you know. So, what would I rate this controller? I'll rate this controller about a, um, about a 10 out of 10. Good grip, good at everything. Oh shit, my, one of my gloves fell in. So, it's a good grip, good controller. So, what would I give the regular grip Xbox? I'll probably give it a um, solid six because it has no grips. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, my charger was under my chair. So, um, oh fuck. Alrighty. Now, everyone wants to know, what's this thing worth it? Let me tell you, this is a whole different story. So, all oh, expired, it expired Friday. That's sad, because, um, damn, I can't believe it's actually expired. I was actually going to go um, trade this one back. If this video gets about 35 likes, I'll smash this. If not, I'll probably just leave it under my bed and just keep it. So, was this worth it? At the beginning, it was. Until I found out the buttons were kind of fucked up. Um, if the buttons wasn't fucked up, uh, I would have been very good at Rainbow. And pretty much good at Fortnite. Um, I tried mapping my buttons, but you know, it this does not work anymore. It I don't know if it broke or just the motherboard is just smothered in water and shit. So um, was it worth it at the beginning? Yes. Was it worth the money? No. So um, rest in peace, controller. Still got the box. I can probably sell it on eBay and fuck kids with it. Well, um, rest in peace in that controller. Was it worth it? I'll give it a rating of, uh, um, if the buttons did work, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. Um, if it didn't work, then I'll give it about a 6 out of 10. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like me doing more content, it's very, it's been a very long time ever since I did a unboxing video. I, you know, I haven't done a long, long one. So, um, if you guys like unboxing videos or you guys like air fryer videos and I'll show you everything about my new air fryer and anything else, please let me know down in the comments below and I think I'll see you guys later. I know I haven't uploaded in a long ass time, but um, I'm back. So, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.